Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm MT Birchfield and we are back today with another Poke MMO team building series. Today we're going to be covering the never used teams and uh, I have put together what I think is a pretty decent team. You may want to interchange some of these Pokemon, but all in all I think they're well rounded. They cover each other's weaknesses really well. So we're going to focus on the never used tier for Poke MMO competitive battles today. So, starting off our Poke MMO Never Use team, we're going to go with a Physical Sweeper, and for this Physical Sweeper, I picked Drapion. Now, Drapion is going to be pretty powerful. It's got a very good ability in Sniper, which increases its critical hit ratio. We're going to put an item called Scope Lens with it. Uh, for EVs, we're going to spread it out with 4 into HP, uh, 252 into Attack, and 252 into Speed to make it a very strong Physical Sweeper. Its nature will be Jolly to give it a little bit of a speed increase, and the moves we we went for with uh, Drapion are Swords Dance, Night Slash, Earthquake, and Poison Jab. That Poison Jab for Stab, Poison Damage, Earthquake just to help it with some of its weaknesses, and then also Night Slash for possible critical hit ratio, and Swords Dance is to really kind of boost its attacking power. For our special sweeper, I went with Gardevoir. Now, Gardevoir is going to have an EV spread of 252 into special attack, 4 into special defense, and 252 into speed to give it that incredible speed. Its nature will be timid to help it increase its speed, um, along with the ability Trace, and its item will be Life Orb. Life Orb is going to help to increase that attacking power. For its moveset, we went with Psychic for powerful psychic da uh, stab damage, uh, Signal Beam to help fight back against dark types, hidden power fighting also for dark types, and then destiny bond in case you're in a pinch but you have the speed advantage, that way you can take down an opponent with you. For our mix sweeper, I went with Magmortar. Now Magmortar is a peculiar choice for a mix sweeper, but its stats actually lend to it being a powerful mix sweeper. So for its EVs we went with 16 into attack, 252 into special attack, and 240 into speed. Uh, for the nature, you can go with either one you want, naive or hasty. One decreases physical uh, defense, the other decreases special defense. So you've just got to pick your choice. Uh, ability, flame body is pretty much the only one you can get. And then for item, uh, I went with expert belt to increase its stab attacks. For moves, I went with flamethrower for powerful fire damage, uh, thunderbolt to counter water types that may try to come in on it, Hidden Power Ice, also for ground types that may try to swap in on him. And then Cross Chop to counter any um, normal types, dark types, or rock types that you may come across. And that also gives you a powerful attacking move. Alrighty, for our physical wall, I went with Gigalith. Gigalith is a very powerful physical wall and a Pokemon I've actually actually used on a previous team. Um, for the EV spread, we're going to go into 196 into HP, 252 into attack, and 60 into speed. Its nature needs to be adamant to increase its attacking damage, and with the ability sturdy, this Pokemon is going to be able to withstand nearly any single attack if it almost knocks it out just due to this sturdy ability. The item we're going to use is Custom Berry, which allows the Pokemon, if it takes a massive amount of damage, to move first. And this is going to come in handy for several different reasons. For the move set, I went with Stealth Rocks so that it can set Stealth Rocks. You can swap it in or even lead with it if you'd like to and set up Stealth Rocks to begin with. And that way it can still take a hit due to its sturdy ability. Also, Explosion is powerful. That way, if you get on the field, set up Stealth Rocks, and then get knocked down to 1 HP, the Custop Berry can activate, and you can use Explosion to knock out your opponent. Um, Rock Blast is another good one for powerful stab damage, plus it can actually break Focus Sashes, so it's very powerful. And then finally, to round it out, Earthquake for just some really good damage on anyone who might try to come in on it. Moving on to our special wall, I went with Mantine. Now Mantine is going to be very special for us because we're also going to place some power into its defense. It is a naturally powerful special wall, so what we're going to do with the EV spread is go 248 into HP, 252 into defense, and 8 into special defense. Now you know this is a special wall, but this will ra well round Mantine. That way it's powerful in every single area of defense. Its nature will be bold and then the ability will be water absorb that way you can absorb any water attacks swap it in on the water Pokemon that might be trying to attack Magmortar and absorb that water and regain health item will be leftovers and leftovers just for more health regain and the move sets are a uh, very stally type of move sets it's rest toxic 
Scald and Air Slash. Rest is to help it regain any of its lost health, or if it gets toxic, you can remove the toxic. Um, also, it can toxic other Pokemon. That way you can start toxic stalling. And then you could use Scald for powerful water type attack, plus to spread burns, and then Air Slash just to deal out some powerful air type attacks. The final Pokemon for this team is Galvantula. Now Galvantula is actually a lead and I told you earlier that you could use Gigalith for your lead if you'd want to, but I would actually probably recommend Galvantula as a scout Pokemon for your team. Uh, EV spread will be 252 into special attack, 4 into special defense, and 252 into speed. With a timid nature this makes it extremely fast. We're going to use the ability Compound Eyes and then the item of Choice Scarf to make sure that Galvantula is always outside of a priority attack, the one who gets to attack first. For moves, we're gonna go with Thunderbolt for powerful electric damage, Bug Buzz for powerful bug damage, Hidden Power Ground, that way it can have, you know, some attacking ability outside of just electric and bug, and then of course, Volt Switch, that way he can swap in and out and scout out opposing teams. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, why not drop a like down below? Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you're enjoying these team buildings. If you've got any that you would like to remove or add into this team, let me know down in the comments section below. If you see any weaknesses I don't, one thing I would look out for with this team is Stealth Rocks because Stealth Rocks can be very dangerous for a team like this. But if you play your hand right, I think you'll be okay. So if you enjoyed it, like I said, drop a like below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time, guys.